In this video, I'm going to make a little ghost to go around this path, like, like an old Pac-Man Pac game. But I want nice smooth movement, so I'm going to use the C-Frames LERP function. And I need a little reference path for it to follow. So I'll go ahead and put some parts here. I'll call this part 1, P1. And they're going to be invisible, so we don't care about the color. But I want to anchor it, and I want to bring it up off the ground a little bit. Because I want the ghost to float, and I want this to be a reference point. So I want it to be the same height as the ghost. I'll make the size one by one by one. And make sure can collide is off so the ghost can go right through it. All right, and now I'm going to control D. That duplicates it. Control D is a duplicate. And I got another point. And then I'm going to control D. And I'll drag that over here. Add another control D. And there's my fourth point. So my first one should be here. And that one's good. Second one here. And we're going to go in order. So you gotta, you got to be mindful. And let's see. That's a P3. And the last one that we're on top of here is a P4. P4. There we go. Uh, let's go back to P1. All right, let's make our ghost. Let's put him right here. And we'll make him green. Uh, let's go ahead and move him up to five studs in the Y. I'm going to anchor him so it doesn't keep falling down. Uh, can collide. I'll leave that on. Let me change the size. Two by two by two. Now, I might want to decorate this ghost with like ears or whatever, or eyes. So I want to know the front for my movement. So I'm going to go ahead and just to make sure it's moving in the right direction, I'm going to put a little hinge. See that? Now the front's this way. You can see the little hinge. But that's okay because when I do my C frame, I'm going to turn the part to the direction it's going and then I'm going to move in that direction. And it's all going to be smooth movement. Let me go ahead and rename my part to ghost. Whoops, what happened there? Let me do that again. Rename my part to ghost. This time I'll spell it right. There we go. Ghost. Script. And my script is going to be named patrol. Alright. So now I need to get a reference to my ghost, script, parent, and I need to get a reference to my path, which is going to be a, whoops, path, a table of those points, those piece, those parts, right? P1, workspace, P2, workspace, dot P3, workspace, dot P4, there we go. All right, now I need a function that will face the next point, right? Because uh, we don't know which direction we're going to start out with. And then we get to a point we want to face the next way. So face next point, and I say part and target position. So that's where I want to go, or that's where I want to face my target position. All right, so C frames. They have position and orientation. When we do a LERP, we need a start frame, which is going to be my, my, my C frame one. And I'm going to use the parts C frame. There we go. Then I have an end C frame, right? That's C frame two. I'm going to create a new one. All right, so I'm going to start out with C frames one position. Right, yeah, position. And I want it to face the target position. So C frames, position and orientation. So this is with the position and this is the direction it's facing. Now we're going to do this loop, right? So loop is going to start at zero and one is 100% converted. So basically we're going to 
do this linear conversion from C frame one to C frame two. In this instance, we're just turning. We're going to go by 0.1 um, steps, which is 10% of zero to one. So each iteration of the loop, we're going to change 10%. So I change my part C frame by C frame one lerp to C frame two. And this I is the percentage. All right, and just wait just a little bit, just uh, enough so that it's smooth, slow, slower, but still smooth. So now we got our, our part, our ghost facing the right position. I want to move to that position. And this is going to be similar. That's why I'm copying it. So instead of face next point, I'm going to have move to next point. A few things are going to be added. We're going to need a position difference. All right. And that's going to be the target position minus the parts C frame position. All right. And that's an X, Y, and Z. That's a vector three. I also want just an absolute distance, a scalar number. So I'm going to say pause difference, Let's say magnitude. And that's going to take this and convert it into a number. It's going to use the distance formula to create a distance. All right, so C frame one is good. It is my part. C frame two is going to change a little bit. We want to have it facing the part, but we want to eventually not end up in the original position. We want to add the position difference. All right, and also, this distance here on our loops, we want to have a step that's related to the distance it's traveling. That way we can get a nice even speed. So rather than going 10% each time, we're going to go a percentage of the distance each time. And that should do it. All right, let's go ahead and fire off these events. <clears throat> I'm going to make a while loop and we're just going to keep going. So we're gonna we're gonna loop through our path, right? So i equals one. That's the first element. That's gonna be p one, and we're gonna go the whole length of the array. And in Lua, the number of elements in an array is that hashtag. So I'll say my my path, and we're gonna increment by one. All right. So we'll get our face next point, and that's our ghost. And my path, I, C frame position, right? Because we wanted a position up here. All right, let's just copy this for our movement. So first we face the point, and now we move to the point. All right, and let's just wait a couple seconds before we start that loop so that when we enter the world, we can see everything happen. All right, do I got everything? There's a lot of code there, probably an error. I'll play from here. And there it goes. Oh, we should have made our points invisible. Let's go ahead and do that. P1, P2, P3, P4. Set transparency to 1. All right, let's try again. Oh, there we go. Now it's just humming along. Nice and smooth. I mean, smooth for a Roblox game. All right.